Shane here at the Brick House, back again with another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 set 31119 Ferris Wheel. This set is designed for kids ages 9 and up. Now, since the set is designed for kids ages 9 and up, I had my soon-to-be 9-year-old son do the build. Overall, the build took about two and a half hours, and it was pretty straightforward. He had relatively no trouble building it, and he never asked me for assistance, except near the end where I had to help him press in these hammers that help support the cars. Now, during the build, it starts out with the base. You then build the spokes of the wheels, and then the wheel rims themselves, and then finally the cars. He enjoyed putting the base together, and then he started building the wheel. The wheel was pretty straightforward. However, these outer rims did become a little repetitive, and the cars were pretty straightforward. Once he got one together, they all kind of came together. Now, overall, I think the set is quite fantastic. When I review sets, I review them on three criteria, and that is the build, meaning how interesting it is, how long it takes, how engaging it is, how creative it is. The overall finished design, meaning does it look like what it's supposed to, and then finally the playability. I know that many people talk about the piece count and that adding value to the set, whether it's seven cents a piece or eight cents a piece. I don't really follow that logic. There's a thing called opportunity costs, which in microeconomics is basically, you know, the, the potential loss of choosing one activity over another. And for example, if you're a computer programmer and you make $150 an hour, it may not make sense for you to mow your own lawn when you can pay your neighbor's son down the street $20 to do that. So if you can be programming during that hour, you don't want to waste your time mowing the lawn. Unless, of course, it's on a Saturday morning and you're not working or you don't freelance. And so when I think about what it takes to take a thousand pieces and part them out and color coordinate them and say what their dimensions are and then categorize them and put them on a website and then try to sell them for three to seven to ten cents a piece and then go mail them off to someone, in my estimation, that probably takes a lot of time probably several hours. I don't know if it's 5, 10, or 15 hours. And for me, that's not an effective use of my time. So I know a lot of people out there say the cost per piece of a set, and they kind of determine the value that way, but that's not something I do. It is the build, the final design, and then the playability. As far as this set is concerned, it's a pretty straightforward build, and I'll give it an 8 out of 10. There was nothing too complicated. My son did think that the wheel became a little repetitive after a while. These carts, which are really nice, they have kind of a flaw is that most of these minifigs cannot get in standing up. You have to kind of put them in the seating position, except for the young child, which I think is a little bit of a... a a little bit of a mistake on Lego's part. They could have made these a little a little longer or maybe even a little wider to fit the minifigs in. But other than that, it uses actually a wheel from an automobile and it just uses a friction mechanism to turn the Ferris wheel, which is quite clever. You know, the beauty of this Ferris wheel is, you know, my son was also kind of amazed that these carts, like a real Ferris wheel, actually stay for the most part, down, obviously, through the force of gravity. They do work better if there is a weighted person in there, just like a real Ferris wheel, because if we talk about the physics of a Ferris wheel, which I started beginning to talk to my son about, um, he was interested for a moment and then kind of uh, started tuning out, but the weight of the person has gravity pulling down, the wheel uses centripetal force to spin, Gravity pulls the person down so the cart stays kind of vertical north and south. Very clever. One of the things I really love about this Ferris wheel. From a finished design standpoint, it looks just like a Ferris wheel. It's really quite clever and fantastic. I actually even like the little fun logo they put here. It's a bit whimsical. And I think that for a, a kid set, it looks really great. 
another thing about this set is it is kind of the Goldilocks size. It's the perfect size. It's not too big. It's not too small. If you look at the roller coaster, it's, you know, if you put it in a Lego city, it would just overwhelm your city unless your entire basement or house was the Lego city. And so since my kids have a Lego city in the basement, this fits really nice near their waterfront. It's a really nice size. So the finished product looks like a Ferris wheel. So as the look of five points, I give it a perfect five out of five. And when it comes to playability, this is a Lego Creator 3-in-1 set, which means you can create the Ferris wheel, you can create bumper cars, or these boat swings. Um, you can choose which one. Obviously, the Ferris wheel is the main attraction. My son was excited to see this built um, when it was finished, put it in the city. It looks great, plays with it. It definitely occupies his time. And when the time comes where he's no longer interested in the Ferris wheel, I, I think we're going to try to take it apart and rebuild it as a bumper car, play with it as a bumper car for a while, and maybe even the boat swings. So from a playability factor, it's a 10 out of 10. Another thing about the Ferris wheel is the design of the steps. I think that the hand railing is quite unique. And, you know, a small detail, but a detail that I think is really important is the final step up aligns really nicely into the entrance of the car. So it's a small detail, but I'm glad that Lego paid attention to it. Because if you see the carts that people step into is really nice and flush with the platform. And I do look at little details like that and even the little flowers on the base plate. Um, so overall, a really nice design. In addition to the Ferris wheel, you have these five minifigs and you have this ticket booth. The ticket booth kind of has a everyone is awesome rainbow color on the top and they have a ticket booth clerk in there and she has a happy face and she has an alternate face which is a mad face so perhaps there's a disgruntled customer that is frustrating her um, and I really like uh, I don't know if this is popcorn or cotton candy and then a cash register but a, a really nice clever little booth they also have a balloon salesman with a little balloon cart selling balloons he does not have an alternate face they have this young woman who has a happy face and then kind of a alternate snarling face. They have this young boy who has a happy face and then they also have this kind of looks like a frightened face. He actually does fit in the cart standing up because of his height because he's small um, but the adult minifigures cannot do that. And this gentleman has in addition to his hair piece he has an alternate hair piece and he has an additional face which is actually kind of a nauseous face. Perhaps he went on the Ferris wheel too many times and um, started getting nauseous. So in total, there are five minifigs, which I think is the right amount for this, um, for Lego. And in addition, they give you this nice little puppy dog, kind of very rudimentary, but I think, you know, serves its purpose. So the set originally retails for $79.99. And I think it's worth every penny. Um, I think it is a fair value. Like I said, it took my son about two and a half hours to build. He was totally engaged. Um, he enjoyed the build, um, except for the repetitive wheel. He could put it together relatively no problem. I think that a younger kid, maybe seven or six, would probably need some supervision. You know, it looks and operates like a Ferris wheel with this clever uh, friction wheel. The carts work very nicely. And it looks quite fantastic. If you have young kids, I highly recommend you go out and buy this. Um, if they're Lego fans, it's definitely an engaging, interesting, fun build for a kid. If you have grandkids, I recommend you go and buy this. You are definitely going to get your money's worth. And it's one of the cooler sets Lego has come out with in 2021. So that's my review. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next video.